Hi, my name is Mike Clark. I'm with Protec Laser. Today we're going to take a look at the difference between annealing and engraving or blading a stainless steel surface. Typically we get a lot of requests from customers asking us what's the difference between the two types of marking processes. So let's take a look at both of these processes. First type of engraving is a blading. Basically what a blading means is that we're actually removing material and creating depth in our engraving. Typically we'll see this in a lot of signs or tags or on parts. In working with parts, you could actually cause stress problems or in unbalancing of the actual part. If there is issues with engraving, then typically we'll try to anneal. Annealing is a process where we actually create a lot of heat on the actual steel surface and cause the carbon to come to the surface of the material. When we're using annealing, typically we're not removing any material. When you look at a annealed uh, marking job, you'll see that the actual product is very smooth. The annealing doesn't cause any issues in terms of lost products, so we typically have a mark that will not cause any corrosion, and the part that we're working on typically is not unbalanced. The fiber laser can, can produce both of these marks. The only difference between creating the marks is the engraving process or the ablating process, we're engraving in focus, and the ablating process, we're actually going out of focus. The reason that we go out of focus is we want to create a little bit of a larger beam size to create more heat when we're actually lasering. This heat causes the carbon to come to the top of the surface, which gives us the black mark. Thus, when you're annealing, different grades of stainless will give you different black marks. So you have to be careful when you're looking at annealing a product and it's best to test the product first before you assume that you're going to get a dark black image. Another reason for doing an ablated surface is we want that depth in the image. For example, we may have a part, maybe a tag or a part for that matter, that may be out in the open, exposed to the elements, uh, such as maybe a tag on an oil rig where the salt water is very abrasive on that tag. And we need some depth so that over time, the mark will always be legible. Again, it really depends on what your customer is looking for. Uh, sometimes a customer will give you the requirement that they, they don't want to remove any material. Other customers may say that they need to get a two or three thou depth in, in the physical product. When it comes to the, to the fiber laser, it's really important to remember that you, you can't get depths that are in the 20 to 30 thou range. Typically you're more inclined to get depths in the 3 to 5 thou range. Trotec Laser sells a flex uh, laser which basically is a combination of the fiber laser and the CO2 laser. This gives us the ability to engrave any product that we want. If you're looking to be a full-fledged engraver, you should really have the CO2 laser to do all the products such as glass, wood, paper, and also the fiber laser so that you can do anything metal. The nice thing about having the fiber laser for a lot of people that are already engraving with the CO2 laser is that we don't have to use the pre-spray. Fiber laser allows us basically to put the metal in the machine and then engrave like we normally would with a CO2 laser and create an actual ablated mark or an annealed mark. This eliminates the time and cost of using the pre-spray. Thanks a lot for watching our video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments field below. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel.